Hey, welcome to the Atom Structure Learning Module here in Futsu Class. My name is Arnold Rain and together we are going to discover what is atom structure and why it is important. I'll jump into the module. Now, okay, this is really interesting. But before we get to the interesting part here, let's talk about the uh, important concept of atom structure and why we need to talk about it. Everything in the world, me, you, maybe not this digital space here, but every item, every physical object in the world is made of atoms. Small, small, tiny particles that are virtually uh, unsplittable in the sense that if you were to take a knife and cut maybe a piece of sausage in half and then again in half and then again in half in, in half and in half in uh, uh, let, uh, uh, so many times that in the end you would all have just the smallest piece of um, sausage imaginable then that last piece that would be a single atom or a molecule now to understand why different atoms act differently and how we can use those different atoms around us to create our environment we need to understand how the atoms work and this is what we are going to discover today together so let's get started first we have to take this pr proton gun and shoot the first proton into our atom structure arena and what you see there is the simplest atom an atom with one proton and one electron but what are they what are the protons and electrons anyways? All, all atoms have uh, a nucleus and an electron shell around it. Here you can see that the nucleus consists of a single proton and the electron shell around it consists of a single electron. We can add a lot more protons and neutrons into the nuclei, nucleus and then we'll also increase the electron shell. Now it's important that the number of protons, the red balls in the middle, and the number of electrons, the blue balls around it, is the same. Uh, it's because the protons have a positive charge and the electrons have a negative charge. And if we have the same number of protons and neutrons, that means the atom is neutral and all atoms are neutral. Now, we have to play this game a bit we'll have to create helium yeah and then from it we'll have to create uh, hydrogen okay the, we're just going through the tutorial here but the core concept is that we uh, we have a nucleus and an electron shell around it okay yes thank you thank you let's move on to our next goal here. Next we have to create neon. Neon is an interesting uh, element. It's a, it's a very non-reactive element and it's on the small periodic table here. It's here on the far right and uh, we can create it by adding protons until we reach neon and here you should be able to see that there are some numbers and letters and stuff. Let's quickly go through what they are. So for all the elements in the periodic table, you will have an element square. And these squares will have a lot of info about, about the specific element. First of all, in the top uh, left hand corner, we will have the atomic number. This essentially is the most important piece of information about any atom. The atomic number says how many protons an atom has and the number of protons defines an atom. So every atom in the periodic table has a different number of protons. The top left one has one and then we add one for every subsequent element. So for example, hydrogen at the top left corner over there has one proton, helium has two, Lithium 3, Beryllium 4, Boron 5, Carbon 6, Nitrogen 7, until Neon we have 10. 
and it goes far beyond that as well. In the periodic table we currently have 118 elements. That means the last element has 118 protons in the middle and also 118 electrons. So uh, that's, uh, that's really cool. Now we have created neon, we have 10 protons and now we will check if the tensor is correct and it is. Next we'll have to create boron. Boron we can find here on the table is here at this place and here it says it has five protons so we'll add those one two three four five currently as we're in the early stages of the game the game presents us with all the necessary neutrons and electrons which we'll get to in a moment but for now we'll have to just worry about the protons the main uh, uh, component of an atom that defines what it is we put five protons there we see that we have boron here and we will check if the answer is correct and it is great next now we can see that we have a half ready uh, atom there it has protons it has electrons almost everything necessary but it doesn't have the neutrons you might have noticed that in the nucleus there were two types of particles. There were positive protons, with the, uh, those are the red balls, the ones that are there already. And there were also the, the, those whitish, grayish neutrons. Now, neutrons, as you might be able to guess from the name of a neutron, is neutral. So it doesn't add a charge, which means you don't have to balance it out with electrons but it does add mass and since uh, protons and neutrons are way way more heavy than electrons then essentially the protons and neutrons are the only ones that uh, uh, create the mass of an atom so we have to now figure out how many neutrons this aluminum atom needs to get and what we can do is find in the periodic table aluminum which is here and uh, we can see this in a magnified way but this here is the element that is created there it isn't the same as it is in the periodic table on the top left hand we had the number of protons right you remember that and since the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons it's also 13 for aluminium but down here what we have is the atomic mass number and as i mentioned since protons and neutrons are really heavy compared to electrons that weigh about one two thousandth of, uh, of the mass of a single proton, then uh, we essentially we don't count electrons when we're talking about the atomic mass. And now in the periodic table, we can see that at the aluminum's atomic mass is 27, but here we currently have only 13 corresponding to the 13 protons. We have to add the necessary neutrons to reach the atomic mass of 27. We'll do that now. You can see the number increasing and we'll increase it until it is 27. We'll confirm and that was correct. Nice. Next, we have to create oxygen. Oxygen, of course, is really important for us in our daily lives. Uh, and we'll see how it is made. So oxygen has eight protons and eight electrons already set. Perfect. Now we need to add the necessary neutrons. From the periodic table we'll see that it has to have a mass number of 16. Here it has only eight corresponding to those uh, protons. We'll add the necessary neutrons. Eight, uh, 16 minus 8 gives us that we have to add eight neutrons. Overall, usually, and especially for elements...